Hi everyone, this video we are going to look at what to do when you've got a missing font. You can see it here, question mark with an A, or an A with a question mark here. What do you do? Well, basically you just click it and replace it. There's a teeny tiny bit more to it. It's a short video. Stick around, hang out, and I'll show you all the different ways of replacing missing fonts. All right, replacing fonts that you don't have. Okay, there's a couple of ways. Um, I was using this kit here. I wanted to use the fields. Um, they've got some really cool... Uh, Thank you, Marcel, Michelle. Okay, I duplicated it, opened it up, and I was like, great. And I went to copy out all the fields, and I liked the text that was in it as well, okay, for my project, and there was a missing font. You can kind of see it up here in this original document. It doesn't really matter if it happens here, or let's say I copy it, and I move it into my document, I paste it in, it will come along for the ride. It's like, hey, I'm missing. Okay, so what to do? The first thing to do is just see if, if you like the font. Okay, this one's called Helvetica Now Display. You might go and download it. It might be a free font. That's what I did for these, okay? I have this font on my machine now because it was called Enter, and I liked it. It was a really nice, simple, I'm clicking in, I'm breaking his style, okay, and going, ah, oh, Enter. I just went and downloaded it. I can't remember where I got it from, it was free. I was like, great. And then that little, this little thing went away. This one here, I didn't want to use, so I just left it. But let's use that as an example. Let's say that we do want this. Okay, you might check. You might actually have it on your machine. It might be called something else. So Helvetica, I don't have Helvetica now. Okay, but I've got Helvetica Bold. Is that good enough? It's not the same, but might be close enough. Let's say I don't want to do that. Let's say that I want to switch it out for something because I like the lockup of this, but I want to use my fonts. Okay, so you can either select the text here and click it over here and just change it. Or there's a kind of a fancier way at the top here where you can say, that is missing, go throughout the entire document and replace it with, I'm using Crimson Pro. Does Crimson Pro have a black? It does. Okay, and this other one here, I'm gonna use the uh, Dosis. I'm using regular for my body copy. Hit replace, look at that. So you can do it up here for kind of everything and uh, if I undo this one here, you can do it specifically for that particular font here in the text in this kind of like right panel here. All right, that is missing fonts. Go and download them if they are free and you want to use them. Check that your machine has them and they're not called something else. Or switch them out using either the little icon up here or in your little text right hand panel thing. All right, that's missing fonts. I'll see you in the next video. All right, that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, consider giving it a thumbs up-y likey thing and also consider subscribing to the channel. I've got lots more Figma tutorials here. Also, if you do want to go further with Figma, I've got a full course called Figma Essentials. Uh, check out the card up here or link in the description. All right, bye for now.